for you and I say, oh, wow, that was a horrible thing happened. For existence is a natural part of its expression to create those beaches, to create that land, to create those people, and also to create the tsunami to come and kill them. It's both a part of the same, you know, both hands coming together. They're going like this, or they're doing this, or this, or this. It's doing the dance, it's playing. It's being both sides. For a human mind is, oh, this is good or this is bad. Existence is expressing itself. So you want to move on, on and rise, then you have to rise above good and bad. So is that what enlightenment is? It's really taking a far enough step back to not get caught up in the good or the bad and just realizing that it's all part of life and you just ride the waves without trying to let the mind take an opinion of it or overanalyze it or get too caught up in the emotions, the high highs or the low lows, just know that it's all part of the one, all part of existence and you just ride it and try to enjoy it from the human perspective. Is that enlightenment? Um, partially. Partially, the enlightenment, enlightenment is the recognition, the realization that there is no you. There is no, that sense of separation is no longer there because, you know, we have a sense that we're separated from other things. It's through a sense we have. It's a sense. You have a feeling like you're the one who's choosing your life. You're deciding what to do. You know, from the moment you wake up, Rachel. Yes. You from the the moment you wake up in the morning, you you have a sense like you're choosing what to do. You get up. You do this. You need to go to work. You need to send some emails. You need to go to the post office and mail something. You have a sense like you need to do things, right? I mean, kind of. I mean, I'm more just, I feel more just like energetic. Like I'm just an energetic vibration on the planet. And then that humans have created all these illusions, which are requirements to exist that don't really need to be there. I can go through those motions, but I can also just not you know, and okay. just, if right. I just want to meditate instead or whatever, you know? Right. Yeah. So, but most people on the planet, they have a feeling, a sense that they need, they are choosing every day, every moment, what they're doing. So enlightenment is when that sense is not there any longer, that sense disappears. So you're just an expression of God. And then I would, so then it's like, when I see the neighbor crossing the street, when I see the grocer ringing my grocers, I see myself. I'm able to recognize that's me looking at me. And the piece of fruit being rung up is also me, is also God. It's all one, that, like that? Yeah, in a way. In okay. A way. You, rec you, you know that. You know that not, not necessarily every moment your experience is going to be the, you know, it's not that you're just going to be feeling uh, you're the fruit. You may do that too, but you're, you're, you're no longer really having this feeling that you're separated and you're calling the shots. You're, the understanding that you're being run by that is there. This illusion that you're no longer separated is not there anymore. It's the absence of that sense. The rest, I can sit down and talk for hours, but it won't make any sense unless 
it's a direct experience of what's going on. Otherwise, it's all blah, blah, blah. Because the mind wants to understand it and the mind can't understand it. Because what's... when you relax, yeah, when you relax yeah. into that feeling, it's indescribable, right? Like when you are the fruit and you are the person in their eyes ringing it up and you are, it's like exaltation, right? But how do you stay in that state because then you let go so, the mind stops analyzing it right there's no you're just part yeah. of the flow yeah there is no how yeah exactly it's like when you're in deep silence when you're meditating and you're in a deep deep silence okay yes there is no thoughts in that moment that okay i'm in a deep relaxed relaxed state i i am one with existence I'm uh, not separated. There's no thought of it. There's, this is not an issue in that moment. It's not a concept. It's not a concern. It's, just, it's a non-existing thing in that moment. It's just not even there. But when you come out of it and you start, the mind comes, then analysis comes or explanation comes with it but when you're in this place there's nothing else same thing tantra tantra sexuality when you're in tantra and you lose yourself in your partner you lose yourself in the person you're doing tantric practice with and you're in these moments of orgasm, energetic or physical, there is no story. There's no, you're, you're, it's not like, hold on a minute. I need to analyze this, that am I oneness or, I mean, it's like, who gives a shit? It's just a oneness. The same thing, you're in deep meditation. And you're not there. Hold on a second. Hi, Shadi, I'm going to, can you unmute yourself? Hi, Hi. yes. Hi. Can you hear me? Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Thank you so much. Um, I just wanted to uh, add to uh, the topic and what you, you guys were discussing. Um, when we say everything is one, which obviously I've also experienced it or it's experiencing through me, then the next thing that I wanted to, to bring up for clarification more for myself is the mind and the thoughts and all of that becomes part of the one too. Um, is that correct? Yes. So, so when we, you were saying, for example, if somebody's experiencing something and the brothers, the sisters, or the family members, or people around you might, you know, be at a different, I don't know, dimension or, ex or appearing some way, that's all part of the absolute playing its part through all the vessels or vehicles, the way it's intended for whatever the plan is. So when sometimes there are some days where my mind is completely quiet and I, you know, you feel the oneness, but then there's times that there's expansion and contraction when then the mind comes in and then it just, and then I see it also, but that monkey mind or the busy mind is also part of that absolute, correct? Yes. Yes. Everything is part of the absolute. Okay. That's what I, so one day I'm in meditation and for one week, everything is like full on expansion. And then I go out on the street and then I'm, and then I, I'm, a, you know, I bump into somebody and now I have to converse. And then suddenly the mind comes in and then it takes over. And then I, like, I still see it. I mean, I'm um, observing it as, you know, in the background, 